Hey everyone, this is Relics. And I'm Nagatron. And we are watching Gorillas versus the 187 Lethal Interjection Crew in round three of the World of Tanks Classic League Season 1 on El Haloof. So let's get it going. Alright, starting out here with Gorillas, we have a 50B, an E100, two T110s, two Batchats, two T50, or a T54, a GWE and a T92 for artillery, and a T50-2 and a tier 2 light tank for scouting. Really heavy on the mediums here. The 187 Lethal Interjection Crew is running two IS-7s, a T110, Object 704, Patton, T54, 261, two, two T92s, a T50-2, and two T2 lights. So obviously both teams are looking to spread out some fast target spotting uh, tanks, get their artillery to bear, and just hammer out the opponent. Oh, what you can see going on right now, Lethal Interjection Crew already having their mediums going straight up the middle. Looks like they're going to try to proxy light on the back of that um, hill there. If they can make it all the way up there, they do have the artillery to dig people out. Yep. Likewise, uh, Gorillas has their mediums in the exact opposite area on the hill, too. So they had a similar thinking there. Unfortunately, we don't have any replays for them up there, so we have no idea what the actual action is going on. Other than there's a lot of movement. Overall, right now, Lethal Injection definitely has the pressure put on them with so many mediums and those heavies over in the top there. I would imagine with their positioning, it's going to be fairly hard to dig them out. And they're pretty much just surrounding and taking out everything, that, that one heavy over there in the light. And they do appear to have a couple of the tanks looking down in, but they're not going to be able to do anything quite yet. I'm surprised with all the movement we have going on right now. There's no deaths yet, even with the uh, Tier 2 light tanks that were rushing through the middle. One eight seven still on back of that hill. A little bit more action actually going up over there near A five, where G has successfully managed to push all of their fast mediums. Yeah, and I imagine that heavy that's right around that corner there isn't going to last too much longer with mediums in the back, and uh, I believe that's a fifty B in the front. Yep, there he goes. So it was their IS-7 up there. They're doing a really good job of staying in Arty cover, too. Even with those 292s, it doesn't seem like anything's getting splashed out just yet. Gorilla's making sure not to put any tanks close to those proximity lights. Keeping far away so that artillery can't hammer them out. Yep, and they're kind of locked down there with that T110 over on the other side there. And their tier 2 lights doing a good job of making sure there's nothing coming through that little uh, switch back there. Ooh. Well, it looks like he was spotted when he did that. Just missing artillery around. Gorilla's mediums appear to be massing to push up one of the ramps. Maybe light enemy artillery, spot what they've got going on in base. It actually looks like they're gathering to shoot on the other back of the hill where that Patton and T-54 are. Saw a few small, small shots bouncing around him. Yep, there you go. I'm surprised they have that much vision to get all the way across there. It's the 2 
and the T2 light that we're doing all the spotting. Uh, so it's just up to draw distance, the setting, to determine whether or not they can actually fire on those targets from there. Regardless of whether they, ha they can actually see them, if they're pretty confident in where they're aiming, they can actually shoot them from across the map regardless. Looks like one of their mediums trying to spot up a little bit for artillery to start doing work up there. Gorilla's starting to shift one of their artillery up to the northwest. Get better angles to bang some of these mediums out from behind this hill, undoubtedly. Yeah, 187 is not in a great spot here right now. Their artillery can't really hit on anything. Great aggressive spot in artillery by uh, gorillas all the way up in the 8 1 so they can hit on the back of that. This is some really good calling. Uh, a lot of teams don't ma like maneuver their artillery around when they capture a certain per part of the map to get better angles. And that really can be the key to victory. Especially when you know that the 187 is going to be really dug in in their base at this point, probably hoping for a draw. Gorillas has a good portion of the competition team from Brothers Grimm, which uh, existed a little bit after NASA and long during the actual NASA alliance. So they are definitely no strangers to competitive play. Cleaning up a little bit here. Ooh, and IS-7 actually managed to make it across all the way to K-7. Mm, he might be alone, though. Although he's probably thinking he can get back here and take out their artillery, which will even it up a lot for them. Unfortunately for him, G has swung all of its artillery to the north, as we were just discussing, to get better angles. So he is just going to find barrels. Ooh, which are coming in now. I guess that hunting expedition kind of worked in reverse, didn't it? Yep. So at this point, back at base, all they have is that 704 and a T-110 to worry about. And they have plenty of guns to bear. I wonder where their 50-2 is. He must be past this hunting from a bush somewhere. Oh, yeah, Gorillas is pretty much all over the map, and we haven't seen him. Oh, there he is. There he is right now. Oh, there goes the IS-7. So, seven minutes left on the clock, and all they have to do is break any tanks turtling in the back. I think they've got the time to do that. Well, definitely considering that both of their defenders are T-110s. So any of those tanks that are kind of lower health simply just have to wait until the T-110 drives to the other side of the map and helps them clean up. Yep, and here they are quickly bringing them down to support them further. Uh, there are two light tanks, Gorilla's two light tanks, going to find the rest of the artillery. So yeah, it's just a matter of picking this apart. I would say Gorillas showed excellent map control this round here. Fifty dash two and the T two light tag teaming the ninety two there. One more artillery left. Ooh, and that was a nasty splash up there in north, it looked like, on the uh, T-110 and the object. They're obviously a bit too far to help any over here, but they're pretty much surrounded at this point, so it's not going to matter. <laughs> that tier 2 got real lucky he was out of that splash range there. All right, that'll do it. Grats, gorillas.
<laughs> <laughs> and a team kill in the end. Good job, guys.